an American and then she put it in an ad because it turns out that some of this might actually be working and might be helpful to voters who feel this pain in their real lives. I think the turning point in media coverage was when big city Democratic mayors started to complain that they were being overwhelmed by migrants that were often bused there, sometimes by border states. I, I think that might be true. I think that may be a turn in coverage there. I just want to say very quickly on the Bill Malusian points from that he reported he reported yesterday. It's around 425,000. But that's over decades. That number got presented as if it was it all happened during the Harris administration. And if you look at the numbers, it's entirely possible that those numbers actually went up more during Trump than the Harris administration, than, than the Biden administration. I like and the way also, you, and like the the way non, you uh, promoted her to the Harris yeah, administration. And also, and also the non, uh, to be non-detained does not mean that they are not sitting in federal, state, local uh, prisons. So just just to be clear there, well, in, uh, my, but in my actual county, there was reporting this week that a person who had been on, it, booked on felony gun charges, booked on several DUIs, booked on maiming, was released three times because my county is in agreement that they are a sanctuary county and they don't report that stuff to ICE. I am an immigration moderate. I look at that story and I go, the feds had to come yeah. here to track this guy down finally. And that makes me mad. This is what voters are experiencing. Yeah. I, I, will, I will just say very quickly, it's, it's, it's statistics from the Cato Institute, not, not also from some liberal think tank, that, um, you know, th that uh, the Biden Department of Homeland Security removed a higher percentage of arrested border crossers in its first two years than the Trump administration did in its last two, and that migrants are more likely to be released after a border encounter under the Trump administration than President Biden. So some of these numbers, you, you, have, to, you have to give them context. Well, uh, at the same time, if uh, Joe Biden hadn't waited until, you know, just before the election to actually declare an emergency and shut down the border, which doesn't mean it's completely shut down, of course. Um, I think it would look very differently. Does Kamala Harris owe the voters some explanation of why she moved from legalized all migrant crossings to, I'm going to crack down on the border. Yes, I think when you have an e evolution, you have to explain it. I think it is good that Vance has been asked many, many tough questions about his own evolution on Trump and some trade issues and all the things that he used to profess. You should be asked tough questions about that, and you should be able to explain why you moved from one position to another. The fact that she sort of gets a pass on this, I don't think is helpful to voters, and it's not helpful to her because voters want Many of them want to believe her, that she would be something different, but she's not giving them the tools to do that. I don't understand, because all you'd have to do is say, well, I, in my four years as vice president, I've studied this, and my position has evolved, and people may or may not uh, buy that. But when you just pretend the, you memory hole the, the position you took uh, uh, four years ago, that's a little bit different. Um, as a media strategy, as a political strategy, does it make sense to go at this issue that clearly benefits Donald Trump, and try to get Trump and the Republicans to partially diffuse it. Yeah, I think I think it does. You had Carl Rove on this network yesterday talking about how the numbers on immigration, yes, it's it's still an advantage for Trump, but that is sliding away from him in some battleground states in Arizona, but also uh, nationally. So I think it is smart to go at some of his um, his advantages. And also, you know, when he talks about the issue, sometimes he slips into lunacy, right? We saw it during the debate where he's talking about people lunacy? eating cats and dogs. I mean, it is... Well, it yeah, is, that, and that, and, that one and that, I can't defend. And that, and that reminds people that when he talks about this issue, yeah, sometimes he's the he is the political center of gravity for the GOP, and he's talking about them poisoning the blood of our country. We're going to have mass deep Deportations, they're eating the pets. And I think that framing sometimes, even for independence, is a bridge too far. I'm still seeing uh, funny videos about they're eating the pets uh, when they show cats and dogs looking terrified. Um, I want to touch.